Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a very exciting day because today I am joined by Yves Mo, Unjaded Jade and Eve Bennett. You thought that the Avengers Infinity War was an ambitious crossover. Check this shit. <laughs> Do you want to say where, which universities you go to? So, hi guys, um, I go to Cambridge University. I'm taking a gap year, but I've applied to third to Bristol. And in two weeks, I'm going to Oxford. Perfect, so, and obviously I'm at Durham University. So I thought today we could talk about how to apply to top universities, specifically through the personal statement. Yes. Um, I've got a little list on my phone of things to talk oh, about. Oh, wow! Study chief oh, organization. Yeah. The obvious place to start is the introduction. How do you start a personal statement? Because for me, oh, it took me about a month to actually write anything. So everyone told me, do not start with a question. It's just Jeez. easy. Everyone's oh. like, don't do it, whatever. And I was like, no, I'm starting with a question. A lot of people start, with a, went, a lot went, people start with a quote. There's a Spanish word that doesn't have a translation. And I asked my oh. Spanish teacher, mm. what is duende? Like, I literally asked him that and he had no answer. Went to somebody else and they had no answer. And I was like, you know what? Like this would be a really good start mm -hmm. for oh, personal really statement. Good, yeah. And like half of my Oxford interview was based on this one question. That's really fascinating. Like, wow. What is Duende? Oh, and good. obviously, because it was a question, you... she asked me the question, I had the answer oh, ready to go. Yeah. Come on, red team. And that's why you got in. <laughs> it can be like controversial to start the question, but if yeah. it's a good question, a original yeah. question, one that you would... don't ask a question for the sake of yeah, it, ask it because yeah. it's something that is a one question that, really that you can answer. Discussion yeah. Because this word doesn't have a translation and Matters. I was really I, and she was interested to hear what I thought it meant, and yeah. I was interested to hear what she thought it meant. You could bring in books that I'd read, everything like that. Perfect. It worked really well. So I'm inspired. My first line was, I am the product of both the destructive yet revitalizing <laughs> elements that postmodern society offers. Wow. Uh, so I'll <laughs> see myself. <laughs> and all that said was, I'm a real bitch, but I'm smart. <laughs> I suppose with Cambridge and Oxford, obviously there are interviews, so you have to be kind of yeah. prepared to be questioned on oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah. everything. This is what you should do. So this is what I advise all of my students is, every single line, put a question mark. Yeah, because I do they that. Can yeah, ask they you ever. Ever. One of my interviews, nothing on my personal statement. For one of them, it's based See? entirely on my personal statement, so. I had almost nothing. I think oh. science That's is rude. quite different. That's rude. Yeah. <laughs> science is all about work. Like, Here's a graph. What do you what do you think well, about that? What can you yeah. say about that? I was just gonna say for the first line, don't do the really cheesy thing like well, all from the cool. age of five. Oh, yeah. I was so passionate about Because you were because you were all play. you cared about was like whether yeah. your teeth were gonna fall out and what you thought <laughs> on that piece of paper. Like you didn't even care yeah. about biology. You know what? I yeah. actually something it's time is like do people actually do that? But they do. I maybe <laughs> wrote something stupid like that, like, oh, James. oh my god, like, <laughs> I think a few years, years ago, like it just hit me, like, a few years ago, it just hit me, like, a few years ago, passionate, like, things oh, yeah. like that. Show, don't tell. Anything, like, Ooh. sweeping, <laughs> like, if you can't back it up, just don't even put it, like, just yeah, don't even yeah. write it. Write what you've been doing, and the interest will show yeah. itself through that. So that kind of brings me on to reading and talking about mm. books. So what should you reference, what should you not reference, like, what should you talk about? I had a quote going through my whole personal statement, and it was by Michel Foucault. Power, knowledge, have you read that? Yeah, it's about power, knowledge, people who have knowledge, they have power. And so you always brought it back to So that. I referred back to the concept power, knowledge. And okay. every mm, single, cool. every time I started my A-levels, every time I started my work experience, every time I started what I want to do, I relate back to power, knowledge. That was like the main, that was the main thing. Yeah. Then I did mention some books that were, that weren't like typically known, that I knew that they may not have heard of. But hang on a minute, if you're applying to top unis, there's academics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They should know, oh, they I'm know gonna it. make it like, you would want to read this. So I have a like horror story from this. Oh, oh, where, no, but you, you know the thing about the, the, the most uh, a basic tip is only write about things that you've read. So in my personal statement, I referenced Lolita, which I had read, oh, I but it. years ago, when I went to my Oxford interview, triggered, I um, turned up and the guy said to me, he sat me down and he, he said, so you, you mentioned Lolita in your personal statement. And I was like, yeah, I did. He opened up his drawer, pulled out a copy of it, and he said, tell me how it starts. <gasps> right? I was <laughs> like, you are dead yeah. to me. Because I was applying for an English literature degree, I kind of, in my head, when I was coming to writing a personal statement, I just wrote about as many books as I could. Right. And what I I kind of learned through refining it and, and working on it and, and having people read it was to write more about less. Oh. Don't just reel off all of the books that yeah, you've read true. in your whole library. Like, just, you know, talk less. about five books or, or, yes. or three books or two books and, and talk like, in a lot of detail. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing I would say as well is link them. Like, try and find a way to link them all mm -hmm. together. So for me, like, I was Power saying, knowledge. like, oh, I really enjoyed this aspect of this author's novel, which is also reflected in this guy's novel, and, like, talk about the theme in general or, like, a, a, a yeah, literary yeah. technique that I saw parallels or contrasts. So that it flows. The thing about a personal statement that I I didn't really realize until I kind of finished it was that it's an essay. It's there. Yeah. And it's an essay on yourself. And so you kind of, there has to be some kind of theme and there's some yeah. kind of, it has to be coherent it has as, to an, as an article and Don't as an essay. Don't just drop, 
names and my English teacher just like the between the two teachers. of us. Oh, for sure. Yes, yeah, so that yeah. was my next tip. Is, oh, like, no, no, yes, men. You don't want people who are just going to read it and go, yes, yes, yes. No. No. You're amazing. You the my English critical. teacher ripped mine to shreds. Yeah. I yeah. could not see and it. do it again. 13 yeah. drafts. Right, that first draft you do will look nothing, nothing like the nothing final product, like it. and it's. it's I think it's hard. Bit, it's it's hard to have to refine because it's one thing that I don't think you really ever practiced no. before going to uni. It's like yeah. being your own critic and and cutting yeah. out whole yeah. paragraphs from your essays and being like that isn't good enough. So yeah, with a personal statement, because you you've done to. your best with it as yeah. well. Like, my English teacher used to say to yeah. me, "Sometimes you have to kill your babies." Deep, deep, deep. My monetization. You, you need someone objective to be like, "That's got to go. That's got to go," because you have such a limited word limit. It got to the point then when we were looking at adjectives, we we're like, "Can we make this adjective yeah. shorter?" Use a subject teacher who has some kind of knowledge English of the subject. Because like, otherwise, but yeah, I think like if they have no idea what you're talking about and it's science, yeah, then they might be like, "Oh, I'll cut that because it's irrelevant," but just because they don't understand yeah, so the concept. Also, I think it's good to have someone who isn't your teacher because your teacher has an emotional attachment to you okay, in a way. True. Your teacher knows you and they know how you write and they know yeah. your potential. Yeah. For those who don't have like teachers who actually are good at their job, <laughs> um, there are so many it's university true. students who work in like, different societies at the university yeah. that are willing to look at your personal statement oh, for, sure. for free. Never pay someone no. to look at your personal no. statement. So my next kind of thing is the percentage of academia Ooh, that you should oh, okay. in your, in your um, personal statement. I think they said generally people go for like 70-30, but with kind of oh, the top, top, top yeah. unis, you should kind of academia, go for 80-20. Yeah, yeah. I actually went for 90-10. So mine was yeah. definitely 90 So I had like a tiny little bit that was actually about my work experience, my blog that I had at the time, yeah. and like some other things mm. that I'd done I got, within. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that I like only, a girl school yeah. things. Yeah. But yeah. I linked every single one back with a re with how it linked back to the degree. Mm. Yes. So I was like, That's time yeah. management. So I was like, I worked in retail, and so I learned how to address different audiences. Sometimes you speak to kids, sometimes you speak to adults, and you use language differently to speak to those people. That's the mm. thing, and that's how it kind of links every, back to yeah. my degree. That, that's it. Every single <laughs> work experience you do has to relate to yeah, your. Yeah, don't just like, Otherwise, don't put it in. Honestly, I'm telling you now, I had all of my extracurriculars in two sentences. That oh, that's it. what I did as well. Like, I'm not gonna yeah, lie, jam packed. Some of the sentences. things, like, yeah. I'm not gonna, they do not care if you've got DV like the day. I was like, through doing DV, through being head boy, yeah. having my blog, I've learned how to respond I to different things. I did that, so I literally did that. I put through X, Y, Z, B, C, D, F. I literally put them mm -hmm. all in a list and like, Put it together and then I put my YouTube as a separate sentence because I couldn't quite link yeah. that. And then yeah. that was it. That was my whole thing. But I, yeah. I personally think that should be at the bottom. Bottom. You know, oh, hey, press them yeah. first and bottom. then and then just wham those in at the so end. Like, oh, you yeah. love me, you love me, and I've got D of E. Yeah, exactly. And I've got so D of E. You've made a really good <laughs> academic first impression, and then they're just that's just confirming that not only are you academic, you can also balance your time. I think like a good place to start is even writing a list of everything you want to put. Yeah, I did that. Like, Extracurricular things mm -hmm. you've read, things you're passionate about within your subject. And then before you even write it, just like refine. One thing I think is really important to exhibit is critical thinking. Mm -hmm. um, and one really easy way to do that is if you're doing an EPQ. Because for right. me, I was like, I don't know how to show that I'm interested in English literature and I'm an active researcher of it. Okay. And so doing the EPQ was the one way that I proved that I'd actively researched that subject. Okay. I wrote my EPQ on like, Holocaust fiction. That was something that I'd never covered in um, in class, but it linked my history A level to my English A level and also kind of my politics yeah. one. So the EPQ is the perfect opportunity yeah. to link your subjects together and be like, okay. this is what I'm interested in. If I had done what I would have milked it, because yeah. I, I agree. For I me, actually, what I did yeah. was I basically connected my A levels together. Huh? So, yeah. Because the EPQ wasn't a thing, but it, with um, a fellow, yeah. so this is what I did. I spoke about, have you read a fellow? Yes. Because I did psychology, media, Sociology and English. I said, if you look at English sex, a fellow, we yeah. use a psychology perspective. Uh, Freud, that's so good. We, can, Freud, we yeah. can see that oh, the other is gay. Love right, that. Okay. But then I ran the sociology because I was like, but in this time, with Elizabeth and Jacob, it was Ooh. accepted. So, so kind of, I ran in the love media, that. I was like, if we did yeah. do a post monitor, oh, that's like really this, good. And how does that relate? That relates to power knowledge through oh, yeah. because the way in which like heteronormative values and all that. <laughs> if you're watching this and you have to apply to uni like this cycle, after this video, just start. Just because start. starting is the hardest The hardest part is getting the don't do know all the deadline for you casting January 15th, but yeah, my school yeah. said like just yeah, do yeah. it. Once just you've got that first, but watch all of their videos first. <laughs> Thanks, babes. Thanks, Thanks for the promo. And so the final thing I wanted to speak about is just yeah. the structure, how to structure it. Like, should you kind of go through with a it's personal mind. to everyone. It's so individual. Yeah. And subject. Yeah. And subject. subject. So there isn't a set structure that works. So like yeah. for me, are you that linked to all your A levels? I didn't even mention my A levels. Right. Course, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. For me personally, like I started with the books I've read in Spanish. There was one in Spanish that linked to German, so I went to German, and then I kind of went to 
holistic, languagey things at nice. the bottom, and then. Yeah. But obviously that's because I'm doing a joint honours degree. Yeah. But people who literally have no idea how to start it. Yeah. I say introduction, which is what inspired you to. Or don't start do... from the start. I think can be helpful. What inspired you to study the subject and why? Sometimes why? I can really get the ball rolling. First right paragraph yeah. is your um, your GCSEs and your A levels, or like one A level subject. The second one is the second A level subject. The third one is the third A level subject. Mm. And your time you throughout cool. why you apply. Just don't The fourth paragraph yeah. is work experience, and the final paragraph is your conclusion is. Type all together. Mm. What you're gonna do in the future? But that is a very general. Yeah, I was gonna say because mine was more about but, like yeah this genre. I, I wrote about like dystopian fiction. Mm -hmm. Then I linked it to my EPQ, yeah. and then I did about like um, linking feminism to that. So I kind of mine was like there's no of, set. It's yes, no. There's no as long as you get passion across. I do a lot of personal. I'm gonna through a lot. Sending it to someone as a word document online, it's really hard because they, when they edit, they edit through Word, and there's so many edits they have to do. The right. best way that I find is you just print it off mm. and oh, hand oh, it with cost. a pen. Yeah, I can true. just draw. That's a good idea. That's so if I draw, yeah. like, like it takes so this long. Word, it's just ages. give it to me and just yeah. give me a red pen, and I'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. So on that note, I think that brings this video to a close. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you guys for being on my channel. Thanks really. for a little bit of charity work for you all. So yeah, thank you very much for being on my channel. Please, please, please go and check out these amazing people's channels. They are lovely. Um, they make amazing content, which will help you. Oh, so do with you, Jack. You are hundreds of people. Oh, oh, right. If you're from the channel. <laughs> also, we filmed a video on every single one of these channels. Wow. So go and check it out. Leave a little like and a comment on all of them. Thank you for watching. Like this video. Like Jack this video. One. If you um, like. Have a lovely day. And He's we'll been see Jack you. Edwards. Sorry. I've been Jack Edwards. <laughs> I've been Jack Edwards. Hopefully next time I'll be on Jaded Jade. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.